my front porch artists. I'm Julie and I'm going to show you how to do your printing kit today. I'm working in my kitchen um, on a counter works well because it's really easy to clean up. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far and um, go ahead and do the second project with you. So let's flip this puppy around. So here you can see I've used this etching that I did on the first printing plate and I did four Valentine cards and some, this one was really light. I didn't press very hard, but I still like how it looks and I might add something else to that, like some writing on top of it. This one, let's see, the design came out there. This one was really dark, which I like, and this one was really dark. So it's pretty fun. You can make your design and print whatever you like. I just worked very quickly and did some hearts. But today we're gonna do our second project, which is the love art right here. And in your kit, you have white cardstock that you're gonna work on. You also have the white letters and glue dots, and you're going to um, put the letters and the glue dots aside. You'll do that after it's all dry. So, we'll get your roller out. I washed mine after I did my first project. And you have two colors of paint and two plates. Um, I am just gonna use one today, and so, you can choose whether you use both colors or not, but I'm rolling just like I did for the first one. I'm rolling my roller in the paint and then I'm covering my printing plate with the paint. And then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna think of this paper as being in four sections or quadrants so I can get four, um, sections down so I can do the letters like this, L-O-V-E. Now, if you decide to do it differently, that is totally up to you. You're the artist, but I'm going to do one right here like this in one corner. And, ooh, that came out really cool. I did a different pattern for this one because it's so much fun making designs. These plates are made out of thin styrofoam, and if you wanted to go crazy with this and do more designs than the two we gave you, you can cut down foam plates that you can get at the dollar store or anywhere, really, um, and make more printing plates to do other designs, or maybe for some brothers and sisters or friends you are doing this with. So I'm doing a second one here, and then I'm gonna do it on a diagonal down here just to see how this looks. All right, this is my second one, and I'm gonna press all over the back of that foam plate. That's cool. So now I've got two like that. Then I need to ink up, paint up my plate one more time. Actually, I'm gonna do it two more times, but this right here. And then I'm just gonna fill in this little space up here. So it's gonna go off the side. If you have paper on your work surface, that's probably a good idea. My kitchen counter is very easy to clean, and so I don't mind wiping that up. You also get some paint on the back of your paper. It doesn't matter for this project, but you might care about that for your Valentines. And the last one, I'm gonna fill in this last space down here like this. So now I'm gonna let this dry, set it aside. So now's a good time to go wash off my roller. And you can even wipe off your paper plate. It's a coated plate and use it again or um, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna throw mine away. And then we'll come back and I will show you how to do the next part. All right, we are back and this is nice and dry. So I have the letters and I'm gonna use the glue dots that came in the kit. I like to tear these strips in half so that they're a little bit easier to work with, and I also know how many I've, I have, so just try to tear in between the dots. Ooh, this one kind of stretches, but those are easy to um, make work. So first of all, I'm gonna do the L. Put the glue dots on the back. Try to space them out a little bit. I just keep it on one of the papers and then put it there. Space another one here. Three is probably plenty for this. Ooh, they kind of stick to your fingers. Um, and then here's another one. I'll leave that for the next letter. And oops, I tore it a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna put it down like that. You can't even see the tear. And then here is the O. I'm gonna put my 
O right there spaced out and then you'll repeat that with the V and the E and then when that is all done you'll use the leftover glue dots to put it on your red cardstock that came in your pack in your kit and here is your Valentine art so you can keep that and hang it up for yourself or give it away to somebody else I hope you have fun with this project